die for me You were there You know the fall Hello guys, welcome back again today to another video uh, Today guys, I'm going to be sharing an update about uh, my mom's uh, situation uh, last week I posted a video uh, talking about how she was kidnapped and I also forgot to uh, tell you guys in that video that the kidnappers were asking for 5 million naira uh, we ended up trying to give them some money but you know the case is still under uh, investigation and we're still you know investigating so guys I am doing this video I'm also today in my car because you know I'm on the go you know I you know really, really don't have that much time to try to make a video in the house right now so it's like I'm trying to make this video quick and just update you guys on what is going on and also I'm gonna be putting the picture of the guy who in order for you to maintain your hands it's you, you need to apply sunscreen above 30 okay or you could wear gloves because I noticed when I lived in New York City I used to see all these bus drivers, you know, they used to wear gloves and I wonder why they wear gloves, you know, when it's not cold, you know, but it was just to maintain their hands from getting damaged from the uh, sun, you know, so, you know, if you're the type of person that drives and I drive a, a lot too and I noticed that to a point in my life, like my hands were really getting really, really dark, no matter what I did, they were so, so, so dark but because I didn't realize it. So I started like to prevent me from you know damaging my hands to make my hands darker you know because you know a lot of people don't understand the situation but this is just one of the tips i wanted to give to you guys so uh going back to my video my mom has been released we came to an agreement we gave them some money and they released my mom she's in the hospital because she was held for almost eight or nine days and all they were giving her was just water and i'm even surprised that to, to this point she even survived it you know because she was just drinking water and i'm so glad that she wasn't you know tortured uh, so now she's back home i mean she's in the hospital uh, probably you know once she's okay she'll be going back home and also something that i also wanted to share with you guys you know like i'm the type of person that I live here in United States and you know like I love I love I love social media but on this social media we have people who are in our community that we don't even know there's criminals on social media there's family members who are jealous of you on social media so um, like with me I realize it because I stopped uh, to a point where I stopped like sharing some some things some things that happened to me like even when something good happened to me in my life I don't share it anymore on social media because you are happy and you're sharing your story on social media but some people are so pissed up because they are in a situation whereby life is so hard for them and they don't like seeing that other people are happy because you know when you come there and you're sharing your story they kind of to them it feels like you're, you're bragging number one number two they don't want to hear your happy story you know so you just keep to your, your news to yourself so i mean i've learned a lot from this thing this is the reason why i don't even talk about where i come from because i live here in diaspora and i don't like to even review my you know my my uh, from, from nigeria it's not because i don't want to be identified with nigeria but because of a security reason because there's people who come to your social media they will go and check if you're tagging families who are back home and they're tagging you living here they will try to investigate to try to find out where your family lives in back in nigeria because you here you are safe because they cannot come here come and kidnap you because it's not that easy you understand so but they will go and you know check on your family profiles and see where they come from and then they will get their work going and this is where why sometimes you know because of their family that lives in abroad they believe that everyone that lives in abroad has money to give so they will kidnap your family and they will make all this ridiculous you know so this is one thing you guys got to know that stop tell your family to stop tagging you in post if you're living in diaspora and also you know be careful of what you're sharing on social media you know i mean it saddens it saddens me because you know we love like me i love i love to dress up i love you know wearing clothes and then sometimes i feel like when i share my story on social media it can give hope to somebody else who's there without a hope you understand but some people don't like it 
you know they, they, they just assume that you have money that is why you look good they believe that oh if you wear an expensive clothes that means you're rich but you know the fact is that rich people don't even dress up the rich people the people I know who are rich in this country if you see them they're just normal you cannot even tell if they're rich you understand you'll be sitting next to a rich man you will not know because of the way he looks because it's just very normal you understand they do everything no more unless if you know them as if if you identify them as someone that is already rich if not they doesn't show they don't wear expensive clothing you know like i don't know how people could be so blindsided and thinking that oh because you're you you dress up nice you have money you know it's all about you know passion the kind of passion you have and they, mostly i'm saying that rich people don't even tell you they're rich and mostly People who are rich in this country, most of them don't even have the money in their bank account. The only way you could tell if somebody is rich is how much shares he has in companies, okay? So when you hear that somebody is rich, it doesn't mean that he has uh, 50 million in his bank account. That's not how we, we, we identify people who are rich in this country, okay? So you people should know that uh, people back in Nigeria who assume that when you, reach, when you get to America, you are rich. It's very, very difficult here. Okay, everything here costs money. The only thing that is cheap in this country, the only thing that is free in this country, in, in, in this country is sex. Okay, you can get sex for free, but other than that, everything else costs money. Everything costs money, especially in America. Every uh, every uh, middle class person living here in America has one or two, three jobs. You understand? Where I work, when we leave work, we're going to another work. You know, you're paying rent, but you're not even sleeping in your house because you're always gone for work. You just have the house in case if you ever have maybe a day off or between the times that you're supposed to go to your other jobs, you will go home and just chill. You don't even live in your own house where you're paying so much money for rent. You don't. You understand? So this is how America is. America is built on, it's so hard. Nobody plucks money on the trees. You know, like I work a lot of jobs myself. Like I hardly even have time. I don't even get 58 hours of sleep a week. You understand? Some days for three, four days, I don't even get a sleep because I'm working. I'm going from one job to another job. You understand? So I don't know how you people believe that when you live in America, you have money or when you dress fine, you have money. No, we're dressing fine because like for me, I love clothes. So if I dress up, it doesn't mean that I have so much money. I don't know what to do with my money. You understand? I don't have so much money. Okay. So you people should get that thing out of your head and please try to protect yourself. Mind the kind of things you're posting on social media because on that social media, we have criminals there. We have family, jealous family members there. We have good family members where we have bad family members okay so be aware of it this is reality from what happened to me i know that you know there's evil out there but because you are posting things you're trying to be positive trying to share your you know little story on social media but some people do not like it they don't like it you understand because it would have been them but the thing is if you want to be as, uh, if, 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 if somebody else makes it in life and you haven't made it, why don't you try even making it, try what the person tried and made them, you know, be what they are, instead of you to be jealous. But this is something we got to deal with. People don't like it. But what you're, you're sharing on social media, people don't like it. Some people don't like it. You understand? They don't. You know, so we got to be, you know, be watchful of, watchful of that too. You know, there's an evil going on in this world there's evil 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 going on in this world like me i don't like to talk about nigeria because i don't want anybody to go and harass my family i'm safe here but what about them just for like for for, a, for, for, for the same reason they kidnapped my mom because when they kidnapped my mom i was the first person they called they asked my mom they said oh your daughter lives in america you know so therefore you have money you understand this is their mentality they believe that everybody that lives in america you know have money to give them you understand? And I remember, you know, some family members were making some comments that even made me pull one or two things and I, I was thinking, I wasn't suspecting they were the ones. Okay, guys? So please learn from this and also know what to share on social media. Thank you guys so much. Like, share this video so other people could also learn from it. Thank you guys and have a blessed day. Thank you. I'm so glad my mom is back. Thank you, God. I praise you and thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. I love you guys.